Hello everyone, in this video let's discuss about the construction of 1 is to 8 DMUX that is D multiplexer using 1 is to 4 D multiplexer. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe for more engineering related topics. Now if we consider the 1 is to 4 DMUX, what it tells there will be 1 input and 4 outputs. So if we represent them using a block diagram. There will be one input and there will be four outputs. So this like only in 1 is to 8 DMAX what will be happening? There will be one input and eight inputs will and eight outputs will be there. So now we must construct 1 is to 8 DMAX using the 1 is to 4 DMAX. So we need two 1 is to 4 DMAX to construct 1 is to 8 DMAX. Let me consider the 2 1 is to 4 DMAX. 1 is to 4 means 4 outputs will be there for another one. 4 outputs. So we are done with the 8 outputs. Now we must give the connection for the only one input. Only one input for each. So I will call it as I. I will call it as I. So it will act as an input to this one. The same will be acting as an input to this one. Because for 1, 1 is to 4 DMAX we can give 1 input. So 1 input for this 1 is to 4 DMAX we are giving this one as the input. Same I as the input. Now we also know that in the DMAX or the D multiplexer the input will be given out as an output. The input will be given out as an output using the selective lines. Using the selective lines. So how to know how many number of selective lines we need? Just how many number of outputs are there? Four number of outputs are there. So how you can write four using two power? Two power two is equal to four. So we just need the two number of selective lines. If it was eight means one is to eight means there will be 8 number of outputs. How can we represent 8 using 2 power? 2 power 3. So we need 3 number of selective lines in 1 is to 8 DMAX. Like that only. Now we just need 2 selective lines. Let me call it as S0 and S1. Here also S0 and S1. So we not named the outputs. Let, let us name them. Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3 y4, y5, y6 and y7. I already said that to construct the 1 is to 8 DMAX there must be 3 number of selective lines but we are given give, but we have given only 2 selective lines. To add the another 1 selective lines we will use the external that is we will use external we will use external selective lines. So if I give S2 as an input to this one, so the same input will be going to this half header also, but in between them there will be a NOT gate. There will be a NOT gate. That is, if I give the value of S2 as 1, 1 will be going here, but the NOT that is complement of 1. What is complement of 1? 0 will be going here. If I give 0 here, 0 will be going here. And its complement 1 will be going to the first D, 1 is to 4 DMAX like this. So we can also draw the truth table for this uh, diagram. How means? What are my inputs? That is selective lines will be acting as my input S2, S1 and S0. My outputs will be Y1, Y2, Y3 like that. So I will write after implementing the inputs. Now since we have now, now since we have only 3 inputs, what will be the combinations of the 3 inputs? 4, 0, 4, 1, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 0, 2, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 and 0, 1. So see, if S2 value is equal to 0, this much, S2 value is equal to 1, this much, I give 0, if I give the 0, S2 value is 0 means it will go here, that is 
y0, y1, y2, y3. In these four only my outputs must be coming. Therefore, I will select it as y0, y1, y2 and y3. These are the four combination if s2 value is equal to 0. If s1 value is equal, s2 value if, if s2 value is equal to 1, then these four will be activated, these four outputs. That is y4, y5, y6 and y7. So 0 to 7, therefore 8 outputs. Hope you understood the concept of designing the 1 is to 8 DMAX using 1 is to 4 DMAX. If you have any doubt, please comment below. If you like the video, please subscribe for more engineering related topics. Thank you.